On today's video, we're going to talk about Razor. This is a thrash metal band from Canada, and they are considered to be part of the Canadian Big Four, along with Sacrifice, Voivod, and Annihilator. You know, the metal community, they love making these like Big Fours. There's like the German Big Four, the American Big Four, and they're part of the Canadian Big Four. They play thrash, and this album is called Cycle of Contempt, released on September 23rd, 2022. This is album number nine in their discography. Uh, actually, their first album in 25 years, released on Relapse Records. <clears throat> so their last album was called uh, Decibels. That came out in 1997, and I went back and listened to this one. It was okay. It had maybe like that a little 90s industrial influence, but it wasn't great. I listened to their older stuff. That was pretty good. The, the band reminded me a lot of like Slayer, so I think this is like the Canadian Slayer or or something like that. Like their older stuff, their 80s albums were very good. Now my first impression of this album, it uh, was okay, it wasn't that great. I found it like very like loud and the lyrics were cheesy. So I'm gonna talk a lot about, about that uh, right now. So uh, basically like I was saying, it's a thrash metal album. I think the band I can compare it to most would be, be like Slayer. The uh, tone of the album is basically very angry, you know, it's a very aggressive and loud and fast and heavy album and you probably might think that's a good thing, but I think they it doesn't really work. So one of the big problems with uh, this album are the lyrics. They just have a lot of songs with the main theme of I want to kick your ass. There are some songs with some pretty cool like themes like uh, End of the Human Race, or like A Bitter Pill, that's about like abusive parents. The Cycle of Contempt, uh, that's kind of like dealing with like narcissistic people. Uh, so those lyrics were pretty good. And Darkness Falls, that's about like a nuclear fallout. But a lot of the lyrics are kind of cheesy. The guitars are good. You know, they're very heavy, thrashy, uh, thrash metal guitars. Uh, they sound good. The drums... Very good, but the problem with the drums again is that they all have the same like rhythm They're they all seem like very fast-paced and they, the songs kind of seem be like the same So that was a big problem The bass guitar it is a uh, very good it does pop out in a few songs for example flames of hatred first rate hate a couple of the songs like punch in your face the vocals. They're very harsh thrash metal vocals, so no real problems with the vocals. It's just basically the songs do get kind of cheesy and they do sound the same. So let's talk a little more in detail about those. Um, opening track, Flames of Hatred. This one was decent, just very fast paced. Uh, has a pretty cool bass solo. Talking about End of the Human Race. Second song is very cheesy. It's called Jebroni. It's just one of the songs about I want to kick your ass, which is a repeated theme. That one I found very cheesy. And then Off My Meds. First of all, the title very cheesy. Another thrash song, another song about uh, wanting to kick your ass. Just, that's what that's about. After that is a decent song called A Bitter Pill. And this one I like because like I was saying, it's about like, uh, you know, parents who were abusive and how as your adult, you remember everything. So I like the lyrical content about that. But as far as the song itself, it just follows the same pattern of just very like fast and heavy uh, songs. Then crossed um, another song about kicking your ass. It's just same old, same old. Um, maybe to do a little bit different stuff with the vocals, but that's about it. Then first rate hate. First of all, it sounds like a five finger death punch. Uh, title. It's about like religious people being like hypocritical. So that was kind of cool, but again, it's another one of the songs. Kind of just like sounds the same as most of the others. But I think one that stands out on the album is Cycle of Content. I think that is actually like a really good song, and I think because they slowed it down a little bit. It almost has that like Slayer South of Heaven kind of like vibe and that guitar tone lyrically dealing with like, you know, narcissists, those types of people. And it is one of those songs where it does have a little like variety, like they slow down the pace a little bit. You hear the bass guitar riffs and it's just a very cool old school thrash song. So that one I will say is a good song. But then the next kind of songs, uh, you got Set Up, just again, just one of those fast paced thrash metal songs about uh, politicians. That one's okay. Punch in Your Face, another one that sounds like a Five Finger Death Punch song about wanting to kick your ass. And the only thing that stood out on this uh, song was uh, the bass guitar riff. So that was good. 
and off is fighting another kind of cheesy uh, song title. It's about, I want to kick your ass, but at a bar. Pretty cool bass intro, I'll give you that, but otherwise kind of cheesy. Then there's a song that I did like called uh, Darkness Falls. Um, this one reminded me a little more of like Testament, had that like kind of fearful haunting quality of it. It's about like nuclear fallout, the slower intro, the galloping guitars. I think like when they slow it down a little bit, like it's really good. So this is like the other song between this and the title track that I enjoyed. And the last song is the cheesiest song I've ever heard. It's called King Shit. It's a combination of like Slayer and Five Finger Death Punch. Now the uh, theme of the song is about like an abusive like CEO of a company. That's what I got from it. But they have this repetitive chorus. And it's saying like, I'm king shit, I'm king shit. But it kind of sounds like they're saying like, I eat shit. I eat shit. That's what it sounds like. So this is like the cheesiest stuff. One of the cheesiest thrash songs I've ever heard. So my final thoughts. There were two or three good songs. The rest were kind of forgettable. The problem with the album in general was like the pacing. They didn't really have a lot of like mosh parts. You know, I like it when the thrash metal song, you know, gets really fast, really aggressive, then like slows down and then... You hear like a little silence and then you hear dun, 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 or something like that where they kind of change the rhythm that like mosh part like that was lacking from this album the production everything felt like too loud and compressed it just that was the problem with the production i think if you're a, a fan of this canadian uh, thrash band and you have listened to it for a long time i don't know if you're a real fan maybe you like it maybe you won't but this one i it didn't really do much for me, so I'm only going to give it a 6 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And uh, that is all for now. I have a couple of uh, anniversary reviews with uh, The Door, Strange Days, and Black Sabbath Volume 4. Those will, will be coming up this week. That is all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.